look at that. Do they have trash bags here? The lake outside is gross. The lake. So if you could see right there, basically where I'm pointing, where that brown stuff is, that's where the lake was supposed to come up to. It was supposed to be a lakefront cabin, and like I just showed you, that's where the lake was supposed to be. But they're doing some electrical work, or some power company is in here, don't exactly know what's going on, but the lake got drained so much, like probably 30 or 40 feet, it revealed so much trash at the bottom of the lake. So we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup, because you gotta leave every place better than where you found it. They did tell us that there was some work being done, so it wasn't as big of a surprise. It allows us the opportunity to pick up some trash. I do not think it will be hard to fill up this bag. Oh, you're so good for the world. <laughs> Can I put it in a trash bag? Yet? Yeah, grab it out of my butt. <laughs> I got a paddle. Hair tie. Nice. You said you needed one, right? That's perfect. Ew. Ew. No way. on trash blinders. So I'm like, oh, just don't look at it, don't look at it. Treasure. It's a treasure to pick it up and throw it away. Oh my gosh. That's a hubcap, it looks like. I'll go put it by the stuff. I think we'll be able to take it out of here. Oh no, that's not. That's a tire. A whole tire? Like not the tire part, the wheel. It's a wheel. Oh my gosh. It's a wheel. How does that end up here? That's probably like 25 pounds. Jeez. We need to do better for our planet. It's like a blue trail goes all the way up to you. to go all of this side the sheer volume that we were able to pick up just in like an hour baby so if you're out and you see a lot of trash and you have the ability and the time just pick some of it up definitely wouldn't hurt anything oh that's heavy so heading back up the hill obviously knew that was a possibility but that's disappointing so i'm gonna grab another bag and come back and round up the rest of the stuff. I thought I could bring them both up, but that didn't necessarily work out. Yeah, it's just amazing how much you still see coming back up, just the little stuff. All right, so we're just gonna grab the, the, the bin this time. I don't know if it will fit in the bin looking at it now. So that's where the golf balls came from. It's from right there. <laughs> that's not good. Jeez, there's so much crap. And there it is. Pretty much all of it, that's where it all was. It didn't quite <laughs> fit in that guy, so. But it's better than last time. My name is Carissa, and this is my husband, Anthony, and, and we, we are, are the, the Story, story travelers. travelers. In this video, we're still in North Carolina for our anniversary trip, but we decided to hang out a little bit closer to our Airbnb in order to have our adventure. Yeah, they had some kayaks there, which was super cool. I love when they have those things. But the lake was in less than an ideal condition. But we decided to try it anyway, and it went, well, you'll see. <laughs> Time to yak it up. See if there's any spiders first, because otherwise Chris is not coming. Oh, there's one. Daddy long leg. He gone. All right, spiders, where are you? Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Look at all those little crickets. Wow, that's your kayak. You got all that? in there. This is where we should already be in the water, but still got like 40 yards. That's okay. You want the cricketless one? The problem is I don't know which one that is. That one. That one? Okay. No, that has crickets. This one does? Okay, cool. Ooh. 
good toss. This is not ideal situations for getting in a lake because this is the bottom. Whoa! <laughs> <Right there. laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna get the spider out there for you. Ew. Good to go. It's just that daddy's long legs. You're good. Okay. See, the problem with this lake that we're on right now is that those are docks that I'm pointing to. And those are supposed to be in the water. So it's probably 30 to 40 feet that they've taken out of this lake. And so this area over here is supposed to curl around. But as you can see, it's just land. And then this area over here, we're not exactly sure how far it goes. It should go a couple miles. But we're just going to kind of go and see how far we can go until it doesn't let us go no more. Pretty. This is, place is gorgeous. It feels much more like we're in a canyon because of how drained the lake is. They're like, oh wow, we're in the gorge, but nope. But I literally just said that. down and draining out in the air. So peaceful. You said you're filling up with water? You're riding pretty low. See in here. Oh! I feel like that's actually how much you started with. Is it? Actually there might be more. Do you want to go back or keep going? We can keep going. I'll keep an eye on it. So here's the deal. This Yeti, you can see where the water is just below that E. So if it gets over the second line, then I'll turn around. But until then, oh, that's a spider. That's awesome. Until then, uh, we're going to keep going. You okay, Mr. Moth? Oh, it's a butterfly. Get some, oh, back on the water. Maybe he's just getting a drink. I don't know the life of the butterflies. I don't know. My buddy's even further now. There you go, buddy. Oh no, he's got a whole little part taken out of his wing. Yeah, just hang out. Let's get you over closer to land. Oh no. Where'd he go? Not back out in the middle there. Dude, he just went right back in the middle there and fell in the water. Maybe he's trying to get to the other side. Yeah, it filling up did not take long. I don't know if you can see that, but it is well above that line. So we're gonna go over here and explore the creek and hopefully dump it a bit and then go back. Going to drown. Can't fly. So we gotta see if I can grab him again. Okay. You keep getting yourself wet, dude. In a couple seconds, we'll get you right over to a great spot to live in. You don't have to drown. Brace for landing. Nope, stay, stay, stay. Stay. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Oh, stay. Nope. Yeah. Yes, yeah, get to land. All right, let's check out what's going on with your freaking thing. What is going on? It's cracked. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's sizable. That's a crack. Yeah. Wow. At least I know I'm not crazy. Yeah, at least I know you're not crazy too. It's taken a while for me to figure that out. Well, let's go explore a bit and then we'll ginger this, gingerly grab this guy. Jeez. I just gotta make sure I have hold on to the key. I'm gonna start asking you to empty your pockets before you jump in water. It feels like the waterfall water. I love adventuring with you. I love it too. Even when it means choosing between a cracked and a cricket kayak. <laughs> I'm glad I got the cracked one though, because I feel like you wouldn't have noticed. Do you want to keep pressing forward or head back because we got the crack? There's a dam like 50 feet from there. Like it's 
blocked off yellow stuff. There's still so much water left in this gun. Let's get her out. That's the cutest noise I've ever heard in my life. Beauty and grace. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure all that mud that we just jumped through is like 70% poop. Still worth it. I'm gonna smell like dog poop though. We have to show you exactly what it says on Google Maps when we're at the bottom of the lake. The, the bottom, so. Are you following me? Okay. So this thing in the water right here, I think it's an alligator. I know it's not because we're in some random mountain lake in North Carolina. But ever since I've lived in Florida for these past couple years, every single piece of wood that has a couple of knobs on it. And she sticks to landing. Can you get your phone out so we can show them just what it looks like on Google Maps? Come on, internet. You can see that we're literally right in the middle of Cedar Cliff Lake. And this is where our car is parked up there, and so it should be like right there, but as you can see, we're at the bottom of a lake. That's insane. Like we're almost halfway across. I don't know exactly why they need to do that, but I kind of don't know how they did it. If anybody like does that for a living, let us know why and how you do that. Alright, let's see if there's any fishies and then go make a fire. Or what if we just go up and then make a fire? Oh. It's coming out of the crack, too. <laughs> Still going. Yours is so much lighter. <laughs> I'm watching you, and now there's an audience. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. Oh, no. <laughs> it looks like post Taco Bell. <laughs> Oh, that's spirit gold. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay, I'm gonna put this away, please. Put it down. I'm trying to put it away myself. Gosh darn it. No, you're good. You want to attack. It's okay. There's a lot of little water droplets on there. Hopefully, you can see something. I apologize for her childishness. I have no party in this. Normally, I have way more party in this than she does. But right now, it's her. Not a lot of things better than a little campfire when it's a little bit chilly, but not too cold. And... <laughs>